For a year and a half, LaShawn Jenkins has laced up his running shoes and hit the pavement for a run. Jenkins joins dozens of other runners as part of Black Men Run Phoenix, a group with a mission that extends beyond running. The brotherly bond, the support, the laughing, the joking, um, and then a lot of the a lot of the fellas are just. We all come from different like backgrounds, and we all are doing different things. Um, but you have a lot of just successful brothers that are uh, prioritizing health. Every other weekend, Black Men Run Phoenix meets just after sunrise to embark on a two to six mile run as a group, encouraging a more active lifestyle. Our, our, our goal and, and mission really is to uh, make sure that we get our black men healthy. We try to use running, jogging, movement to make sure that our, our men get off the couch, get out there and stay active and healthy and try to reduce the alarming health statistics that plague us. Heart disease is one of the leading causes of death for African American males, and 46% of black males 20 years or older have cardiovascular diseases. To help lower those statistics, co-founders Edward Walton and Jason Russell founded Black Men Run in 2013. The overarching idea was we needed a standard and a uh, ability for African American men to be able to have a place to go to take, you know, accountability and and up their well-being, right? Both mentally and physically and spiritually. A national and international organization, Black Men Run has over 55 chapters across 30 states, along with London, Japan, and Kenya. Black Men Run Phoenix began in 2017. Rafael Ortiz is the head captain. We are not just a running club, we're a social network of influence and impact. We happen to use running as a way to impact our community. So it's important for black men to be healthy because if black men are healthy, our families are healthy, our cities are healthy, healthy and ultimately the nation is uh, better off. For Jenkins, the group has taken on a greater meaning after his cousin passed away from a heart attack at the age of 42. Somewhere along the lines, um, you know, maybe unhealthy um, eating habits or maybe just not exercising or, you know, something that could have been possibly mitigated uh, through diet and exercise. Uh, to me, I feel like that's the purpose of this group. No Man Left Behind and A Healthy Brotherhood are two sayings that the group stands by. Uh, so we try to make sure that even people that have not run before, they come out, we run with them, we'll do run walk intervals, yeah. and we try to welcome everyone regardless of fitness level. The group usually runs at Tempe Town Lake, but in February, they decide to do a run through downtown Phoenix, stopping at a variety of black history murals. At each mural, they would stop, and Ortiz would present them with a few facts about each person painted. We're able to learn about some of our heroes uh, of the past and, and the present that we didn't know about. Um, so it's great to always look back yep. and, uh, at, and just admire those pioneers that have right, been trailblazers and paved the way for so many of us to have the civil liberties and rights that we have today. The route started at the Parsons Center for Health and Wellness, and they made stops at places such as Carly's Bistro, Bioscience High School, and the Phoenix Suns Arena. Hi highly educational, uh, very impactful. I learned a lot of facts about a lot of different people that I didn't know. And I thought I knew a little bit about black history, but uh, I learned a lot. Prior to the pandemic, along with the bi-weekly runs, the organization would participate in races all across the country. Getting to go to new places is something Walton enjoys. Anytime I get to run with any one of the brothers, I travel a lot, so any city I get to meet and run with them is pretty memorable. The support from brothers is a highlight for a lot of members. However, the group isn't only for black men. Member Damian Young enjoys the fun spirit that the organization brings. It's not just black men, we have women, men of all races, all colors, creeds, kids, just a camaraderie of getting out and getting health and uh, getting a little healthy run with everybody, it's great. Well, I'm, I'm excited to you know be among guys that are just concerned about getting healthy and, and, and being a better version of themselves. So uh, I'm inspired just to come out and you know be with a great group of guys. The growth of Black Men Run across the country has come quicker than Walton expected. However, he doesn't look at growth as success. We want to do what's best for our members, our supporters, our partners, and the community. Um, growth is not a determining factor, right? I don't measure success in growth. I measure it in impact. And the impact it's made on members, like LaShawn Jenkins, has empowered them to have an influence on others.